hi, we made a new discovery for Snap and Read with the support of math teachers today. And I just wanted to share that with you so that you too can have the opportunity to try this out with your students. So today's topic is reading fractions in Google Docs using Snap and Read. Um, we're going to start off with a Google Doc here that is blank. And I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to be functioning with a tool that is here in Google Docs called Tools. And it's found under Preferences. And it's called Automatic Substitution. And this Automatic Substitution is by default turned on in Google Docs. So it typically would have an X or a check in the box. And all these items would be lit up showing that these are things that the program is automatically replacing, um, substituting when a person types something in. So what that looks like when you're in your Google Doc is if I type one fourth and then hit a space, it converts it to that fractured looking little symbol and um, it makes it easier for the program to represent that fraction. So there we go. Equals. Now, when we have that formula, if I use my text tool, I can turn it on and I can put it here and it's not going to read that because it doesn't see it as text. When I use my OCR tool, it also has not been able to TVs. read that. You can see that it just did that really quick kind of thing. Let's have it read it again. And you TVs says TPs for some reason. I have no idea. But that's what happens when the automatic substitution is turned on. So now I'm going to go back to Tools and Preferences. And I'm going to deselect Automatic Substitution and click OK. And now I'm going to write the very same thing. And watch what happens as I'm typing. Because now when I hit 1 slash 4 space, it stays uh, 1 slash 4. And I'm going to type my plus sign. 3 slash 4 equals, and now watch ha what happens when Snap and Read reads it. 1 fourth plus 3 fourths equals. So you can hear it reading correctly. Now that doesn't work across everything, so it'll work with the plus things, um, the plus formulas, but it does not do the same thing. Let's do 3 fourths. We'll do like a math family, right? math fact family minus excuse me equals and now let's try to read that one three fourths one fourth equals so it does not read it as a formula so don't expect it to have the ability to read formulas correctly but with regards to the actual fractions, it is reading it correctly. And let's see what happens if I do 0 0.01. Let's see how it reads that decimal. 0 0.01. So you can see it does not um, say the 1 one hundredth. It says 0 0.01. So that doesn't work with your decimal points, but it does work with your fractions to be able to read fractions. And even the really strange ones, like I'm going to put 12, 36, even something like that. Let's see. 12, 36. And how about um, 1 and 3 eighths? Let's see what it does there. One and three eighths. So there you go. It's a crapshoot, but it is one that is taking us one step closer to being able to have some of the issues handled that y'all are talking about. So again, the way that you would get it to read that as a fraction is go into your Google Doc, turn off the preferences that are automatic substitution, click OK, and you should be good to go with that. So thank you for your attention.